so they want to know how many terms we need to add to get a sum of 468. And you could just keep adding until you get there. And turns out this one doesn't need that many. But let's utilize our formula for practice. So we can see that we keep adding 3 every time, which is the um, since we're adding the same thing, that's the definition of an arithmetic sequence. So we have a formula for the sum of an arithmetic sequence, and that's the average of the first term and the last term. So add them up, divide by 2, times the number of terms. So, like we do so often in math, let's just plug and chug. So I know the sum is supposed to be 468, and I know that's supposed to equal the sum of the first term and, aw oh, darn, I don't know what the last term is. But fortunately, there's another formula we have for arithmetic sequences that says we can get any term by taking the first term and adding our common difference and minus one times. These two formulas will get you everything you need to know for arithmetic. So if you're, if you're stuck with one, move to the other. Uh, and so we can get any term we want, because we were looking for a sub n, by taking the first term, which is 18, and adding my common difference, which is 3, and n minus 1 times. So n, we're still looking for what n is. That's what they want, how many terms there are. So it's OK that we don't know that. If we simplify this, we get uh, 3n plus 15. And I'm going to sub that in for my a sub n there. So my a sub n is 3n plus 15. And now you might not like it, but I do, right? It's an equation with one unknown. That's n I can solve. So I'm just going to, I don't like that dividing by 2, so I'm going to clear the fraction and multiply both sides by 2. So I get 936, and then the 2's cancel. If I add those together, I get uh, 3n plus, uh, what is that, 33, and then still times that n there. And if I distribute the n, I get 936 equals 3n squared plus 33n. So now we have a quadratic. So quadratic formula will always be there for us, but maybe we don't need it in this case. Uh, you can use it if you want, but everybody divides by 3. So it simplifies, which makes it easier to factor. You have to play around a little bit, but things that multiply to negative 3, 12, and add to 11 happen to be negative 13 and positive 24. So n would be 13 or negative 24. And since you can't have a negative term, you can't have the negative 21st fourth term, uh, there must be 13 terms in the series. So you could keep adding 13 of these terms, and the sum will be 468. If you didn't like that factoring, since it is a quadratic, quadratic formula is always there for you. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. If you plug and chug that in, you'll get those same answers. Awesome. Eh. That's fun.